Okay. Um, so now we're gonna go into the um, the working parts and the connection points and all the uh, equipment that I put into it. Um, the AMRAP is pretty uh, big vehicle. It has a lot of space where you can put a lot of uh, things into it, mechanics. Um, you can modify this. There's plenty of space where you won't compromise the vehicle itself. Underneath the hood, there's plenty of space. In the back, there's plenty of space. Inside the cab, in between, there's plenty of space. While you still maintain the integrity of the seats. That way you can uh, actually still put in four GI Joes in there. Hopefully you can see. The lighting's pretty bad in here. But you can still maintain the integrity of the vehicle um, while still putting in your a good amount of electronics in there. I already removed the the pins. The V hull, the bottom, the V hull is actually what makes the MRAP uh, kind of specific uh, to a mine resistant um, vehicle. It's actually designed with a, a V shaped hull. I'll show you here and. Um, and I've already taken the pins out. That's what holds the, the V-Haul in. Um, this shape right here, it's shaped as a V. Uh, and the ex when the explosion hits, if it does hit a mine or uh, improvised uh, explosive, it shoots out the, the concussion off to the sides, as opposed to having a flat bottom and having a, a real bad situation. Anyhow, this is the V-Haul. As you can see, I didn't modify it much. I only modified it here. I cut out this area. Um, and that's to be able to integrate the engine. And this is a brushless mortar. I don't remember what vehicle I got it out of. I have plenty of parts. I have parts laying around like crazy from other builds and, and other uh, projects that I've had. Um, I can't say for certain what vehicle this came out of. Hopefully you can recognize it and maybe you could put in some notes in there. Um, but it is a brushless, super fast. It, gets, it has a pretty good amount of torque um, but you got to be careful with it torque and speed, you know, the combination is a little bit hectic and wild um, So yeah, that's the engine and then the axles are actually From a different RC a different one than I got the, the vehicle from the, I mean the engine from um, These are the axles. They are From a vehicle a company's a tech. I believe it's a mini monster uh, It's fairly short and stubbly uh, monster truck but the axles, they worked great. They worked perfect for the distances that I was going for as far as the wheelbase is concerned. The wheelbase and uh, the distance here, I you know, tried to maintain as, as close as possible to the original vehicle itself. I don't want it to overextend, it's gonna look weird, or they're gonna be too short. So there were some modifications that needed to be done. Uh, this is the interior, and then we'll get to the modifications here in a bit.